Heute. One more time. One more time. Let's pray. Thank you, God, for this wonderful day and this chapel. And uh, the, it's December, and the weather is getting cold. Please uh, help us to stay healthy and help uh, Dr. Lee and Mr. Tommy to share their service well and uh, students to prepare for final exam well. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. You were bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your bodies. It means that your body is my body. It doesn't belong to ourselves. It belongs to God. Because God created your body, my body, even spirit. And then God wants to lead dwell in you, in your body and my body. That's why a body must be clean, all the time holy, and very ready to receive the Holy Spirit. In order to do that, what should we do? So a lot of ways, especially our physical uh, the body, how we can maintain our body, especially health, during this season. So I'd like to invite Mr. Tammy Lee. Let's give it up, all right. Okay, um, so uh, before we, you know, share the uh, some questions, um, he actually shared the uh, some pictures about uh, you know his young life. He's still young. But let's watch you know his pictures, photos. All right, this is the uh, chapter and the uh, photo uh, today's in the Bible. My body is a temple of God. The video. We're not trying to promote the fourth law, by the way. So next up. So. <laughs> So you're gonna max out uh, your muscle, the body. All right. Okay. Some questions we created, and uh, we would like to ask Mr. Tommy uh, to be kind of maybe healthy, and then maybe inspired, get inspired by, by the Mr. Tommy to be once again healthy. So question number one is, when did you start exercising? The question. Actually, I start uh, working out from I think the, the second year of college, college life. But at that time, I'm just uh, maybe uh, once or uh, two times a week, mm -hmm. you know, just, you know. But I remember I, I, 2007, I came to Korea after uh, uh, back to China. I started working out every day. Oh, every day, every day. Every day means uh, how many hours like per day? It's, it depends. Sometimes. You know, you have partners in there, you know, you talk, you know, create pretty good atmosphere, you talk a lot, sometimes two hours, sometimes wow. yeah, one hour. Two hours, yeah. two hours exercise. Mm -hmm. Then, what about the motivation? What, you know, why did you start the exercising? Um, I think that's the, you know, you may not believe, actually I'm a very shy guy. So, shy boy. Oh, you used to be a shy yeah. boy, okay. I'm a very shy guy. So I want I want to you know like I want to build some confidence you know the confidence. yeah confidence because um, uh, you know as a man you know you need you need to be confident you know so and uh, also confidence, okay. yeah yeah and uh, uh, I think be muscular will be better as a man yeah <laughs> so <laughs> so <laughs> so man yeah so yeah. 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 Really? Okay. So, so that's why I started. Okay. What about this question? What is the hardest part of the exercising? How do you overcome it? Probably a lot of probably challenging while working out or build up your muscle, something like that. 
Then what was the uh, most uh, difficult part? Uh, the most difficult part, I think, is the beginning of the, uh, your journey. You know, like you, when you go to the gym, you see a lot of guys, they're all like, you know, like this. You know, you're, you're, you're kind of, you know, small. You, you know, you have to overcome that. And then once you yeah, build some muscles, yeah, you feel more confident about yourself. And then the problem is, <laughs> next is how to continue to do that, the perseverance, you know. So you can do this for one, one week. Yeah, for one month, but if you continue to do for many years, it's not easy. You know? What was the routine? Like, you know, every, every oh. week, what was the routine? Yeah. The first time, I didn't know about, like, workout or work at the gym, so I would just every day do a little bit each part, like arms, you know, like chest, back, legs. But the one, uh, one day, one of the guys talked to me and said, uh, why don't you just one day for one part? Today only do chest, and then next day arms, you know, like bicep or tricep, and yeah, so, something like that. This is concentration. The it's concentration, right? Like that. You to, so, uh, uh, I can do this. Uh, one more time. You uh, know? And then next day, like your back, maybe. Um, yeah, yeah. Different part. Okay. Yeah. And then you have to feel pain. You know? <laughs> the pain. Pain. Good, pain. Good feeling. Yes. Oh, pain is good. Yeah. Okay, which means uh, no pain, no gain. No pain, no gain. <laughs> yes. No pain, no pain, pain is really good. Yeah. All right. Exercise it is important, but the food, if you uh, have all the time junk food, like maybe uh, some hamburger stuff and pizza stuff, then you know, it doesn't actually help actually your uh, exercise. So maybe we could ask about the food. You know, what foods are good for your health and while exercising? Uh, I think the, for muscle building, uh, protein is important. Protein, yeah, protein, like you can gain protein from uh, a variety of ways, such as, for me, I remember uh, 10 years ago, no, more than 10 years ago, I exercised, after exercise, I, I boil chicken breast, you know, ch the boiled chicken breast, no salt, and then and eat it, and uh, um, some salad, you know. Takasamsarago? Salad, beef, but not the younger kids, okay? All right, so. Beef. Beef. beef, okay. All right, how much can you bench press? This is a question now. Oh, that's um, actually my maximum bench price. If there is a spotter, if there's a spotter, I would like to put, uh, you, know, you know, the 20 kilo, 20 kilo weight, uh. two on both sides, two on both sides, uh, and uh, with the spotter. And, uh, and then I can do probably three or four, three or four with the spotter. Yeah. I never try heavier than that because my, my wrist hurts if you try heavier than that. But now if I no spotter, I just do maybe 35, 35 for each side. 35 with the 70 and the bar probably about another 10, then 90, 80 or 90. I don't know. I mean, oh, I heard wow, it's a lot. The bar weighs 10 kilos. 10, right, yeah. Which is 70, 80, at least 80. Yeah. Oh. But 80 kg, 1 kg, 80 kg. But uh, yesterday I did a little bit of research about that. I'm actually, my bench press level is that between novice and me, me, media level. Oh, media. Um, yeah. As Asian, maybe. As Asian. As, a, as Asian, maybe okay, but com work, like compared with others. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, not, it's not that, yeah. Yes. All right. Then, what is your favorite exercise and why? Oh, um, my favorite exercise. A uh, long time ago, that was a bench press. I like to do that. But now, actually, I think uh, about a few years ago, I, my I like to do the uh, one of the exercises called Murph Challenge. Murph Challenge. Murph Challenge. And uh, what is that actually? Is uh, Merv actually is the uh, was the uh, Solon uh, Navy SEAL special operator. His uh, his name is uh, Mike P. Murphy. He he that was his uh, favorite exercise, which means you have to run uh, for you have to run one point one point six kilo first, and then do hundred pull ups, and do two hundred push ups and 300 squat, and then last, you run another 1.6 kilo. All of this exercise, you have to wear this vest, 
which is 20 pound. It's a close to close to 10 kilo, something like that. Um, why I like that? Because if you compare with others, you know how bad you are, how stuck you are. <laughs> so and yeah, so yeah. Yeah. So the, okay, all right. Yes. Then uh, except lifting weight, what other sports do you like to do? Uh um I I like running. Running. Uh, running. Running's good because again, I'm not good at running, so that's why so I I, when I run, I can know how bad I, I, I'm at this. So, and then I like to do archery. 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 Yes, that's my favorite. Okay. All right. How about this question? How many push-ups did you do the most for one rep? For one rep, uh, I remember um, I compete. No, compete. Just do it together with other other friends. So. Uh, I, uh, one rep, 50, 50, uh, 50, yeah, 50. I never tried more than that. Yes, it was quite challenging. Okay, <laughs> so what advice would you give students for being healthy as our students? Yeah. Uh, for being healthy, uh, of course, uh, workout is important, you know. You have to make a uh, schedule. So make sure every day you have time to work out, every day you have, time to uh, spend time with your family. Every day you have time to study. So I think that's very important. Uh, it builds up your good habit to organize your time. So, and then you can do everything in the day. So um, also the physical health is important. The mental health also is important too. So that's my <laughs> advice. <laughs> Probably we have a lot of high school kids uh, struggling with the, uh, some college prep and essay, even the final, even the middle school too, they, you know, their body's growing. So um, what would be a good, let's say, the advice for maintaining the, their bodies, what do you think, every day? Um, I think it's kind of challenging for them right now, yeah, because you have to study a lot. So um, we can. Maybe you, during the weekend, you can spend a little bit of time outside, like enjoying the, uh, the sunlight, the fresh air, and the run, run 2K, 3K. It's really running about two or three kilos. Kilo, yeah, and uh, really fresh after running, especially you push your, your limit at that point. Okay. After that, right. So not only the, you know, maintaining the physical body, also the spiritual life, which is the, you know, today's chapter, our body is temple of God. So what advice would you give to students, our students to for spiritual life in Jesus Christ? Uh, I think that's uh, very important uh, because uh, um, you, you have a strong faith in God. It's uh, uh, I've, especially recently, I feel like uh, really important because uh, you know, like a devil tried to uh, devil have two purposes. One, they try to doubt about the word of God. The second, they try to demoral, demor demoralize us. You know, so I think it's important to keep your faith in God when you got confused. Uh, read the word of God. It tells you uh, what is right, what is wrong. So, because uh, in the judgment day, when you'll be judged, God will not judge you by the law of human, but by the law of God. So, keep your word, keep your eyes on God, and the word of God is very important. Yes. All right, it's about the time to demonstrate how to work out today. So. Mr. Tommy will uh, show us how to work out a little bit with uh, some equipments. All right. So, anyone want to try? No? All right. So it's about 10 kilo, right? Who wants to try? Who wants to try? If you want to try, you can raise your hand. <laughs> oh, come here, come here, come here. Come here. You can all not always go to the gym, so you can stay home, can do some squats, you know? It's I try, try. Mm. 
Mm. And then you can you can use this to uh, to push up too. You can try. <laughs> I did. All right. Very good. All right. If you if you have a pull up bar at home, right? You can do this with yeah pull up bar. Yes, right. So, but uh, yeah, like you can wear this to run the pump. So I think it's pretty good exercise. You can do all the cardios, weight training with this, right? So uh, I do this secretly, right? Normally when I do this, I will have wear another jacket. So make sure nobody feels like I'm a weirdo, weirdo you know? So, <laughs> so inside is the, uh, uh, the, the, the iron plates. Uh, uh, it's heavy, okay? But I believe that it can do some protection, yes. All right, you can take it off, yes. And now I have uh, this equipment. Can you guess what is the for? Forearm. Yeah, very good. Yeah, this is the uh, yeah the equipment you can work on your forearms. So uh, recently I've been working on that. So because I wanna uh, like uh, what's called uh, to to strengthen my forearm, right? So what you gonna do is you can do like this. I like this. Okay, but this is a little bit too heavy because it's ten kilo. So Dumbbell, right? Now you can attach this and then uh, you can do this. Right? And then you form. The dumbbell, um, so you can uh, six kilo, okay, not two. You can do a different way. You can do like this, one, like this, right? And then you can do this, right? This one, or you can do this. Yeah, this one for for bicep, bicep, right? But you also can do shoulder, right? And then you can do this, right? Okay. So for chest, uh, who wants to join this? Who wants to join? Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, David. Okay. Okay. Uh, Caleb. Okay. Oh. Okay. Come on. Come on. If you raise your hand, come on. Come on. Okay. Push up position. All right. You ready? I know that we we are about to finish up, but what about teachers? Do you, what, do you, what do you think? No, no, no. It's me and I will do that, okay? Right, by the way, you gotta ban a certain person, okay? If Mr. Tani, who, 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 what do you think? He's gonna be a winner compared when he competes with me. What do you think? Mr. Tani or me? I'm about 15 years old, he's like younger than me. Mr. Tony, raise hand. He's raising hand. Uh, if I win, then you're going to have a lot of force, okay? Uh, one more time. Who's going to so far, Mr. Tony? <laughs> wow. Just kidding, okay. Okay, go over. Who's going to, what do you think? Who's going to support Mr. Tony? Okay, who's going to support me? Okay, all right.